in HD from WVUE TV New Orleans. This is Fox 8 News at 6. You're watching Fox 8 News. 747, welcome back. It's been a turn of events that's uh, shocked a lot of people concerned about our economic future. Northrop Grumman's announcement that Avondale will shut down could cost this region up to 10,000 primary and secondary jobs. It, have, it is, of course, a major blow to the area, especially Jefferson Parish. And joining us now to talk about it is uh, Scott Rojas with the Jefferson Economic Development Commission. Scott, thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us. First of all, is there any hope of getting Northrop Grumman to reconsider its decision? Well, that's our first uh, primary action is to try and see if there's any consideration to get them to keep the facility here or maintain the positions here in Avondale. Um, if that's not possible, then we are considering the future reuses of the yard. Just how important is Northrop Grumman to the Jefferson economy? It represents about 5,000 direct jobs at the facility, and it's spread throughout the region. It's not just a Jefferson Parish impact, it's a regional impact. Additionally, there's about 6,500 indirect jobs spread throughout the state of Louisiana. So it's gonna have a large impact on the state. Will replacing those jobs be a priority for JETCO? It definitely is. JETCO, as well as uh, the governor's office, Secretary Moray with LED, New Orleans, uh, as well as GNO Inc., and our local leaders at Jefferson Parish, Pr Parish President Terrio, the councilman, have been working for the last few weeks to determine what we can do to maintain as many jobs at the facility, whether it's maintained as North of Grumman or a future reuse of the facility. Scott, how is that work proceeding? Is it is it a matter of informally meeting with the officials you mentioned and trying to come up with a game plan, or is, is there some sort of task force being formed to to A, find a use for this very vital spot in Jefferson Parish and B, replace some of these jobs? Uh, almost on a weekly basis, we've been meeting on this since we've determined that this is a possibility. Before the formal announcement, uh, about two weeks, we've been working on this. And uh, we are going forward with any plans and working with our leaders, and they have committed to give us any resource we need to go forward and develop a reuse plan for the facility. I know you're talking um, with some specific entities about uh, redevelopment of this site, but conceptually, uh, what can you tell us about uh, what are some of the possibilities? I mean, riverfront location in Jefferson Parish in the shadow of the soon-to-be-widened Huey Long Bridge. The first option, if, if Northrop Grumman cannot be maintained there, is to find a prospe prospective buyer for the facility. If we can sell it in its entirety and maintain as many jobs as we can, that's ideal. Secondly, we've been in talks for a possible port facility in Jefferson Paris. Again, that would ma maintain the facility in its entirety as, as much as possible. Those are two prospects we're working with right now. Are there potential buyers out there? Has anybody surfaced? There has been a couple of companies have expressed some interest. Right now, we need to vet the process, and so we're not prepared to name any companies, but we do have some interest in the facility. And if Jefferson Parish leans toward port development, would you need to create a, some sort of port commission to develop that, that location? Right. And, and what sort of opportunity, I mean, the city of New Orleans, of course, has a huge port. What sort of opportunities might there be in port development well, there? We really spend at this point because we, we don't know what's going to happen with the land but of course Jefferson Parish controls shallow water drafts so if it was to convert to a port facility that would have to be under control of the Port of New Orleans so we'd have to work very closely with them that's just one option we're considering um, but we really like the prospect of that. Scott Rojas with Jetco thanks for coming in this morning certainly a lot of people are pulling for you in this effort. Thank you we appreciate it. All right, sir.